This is Jim from Realtruth.net. It is September 26, 2019. And today's study is really a question to anyone hearing this. And that question is, Is Yahweh your Elohim? The Yahweh of the Old Testament, or Yahuwah of the Old Testament, however you want to pronounce it. This question has very dire consequences for the salvation of your soul. In Yahweh's warning to Israel of following other gods which they had not known was a very, very serious, serious, dire warning. Israel never knew a triune God, a biune God, or a oneness modal God. They only knew Yahweh the Elohim, the one that wanted to be their father. That's the only one they knew. And Yahweh was very, very deadly serious very serious, deadly serious about his people knowing him and no other God or type of God. The Trinity God is an idol. The Biunity God is an idol. The Oneness and Modalist God is an idol. And none of these are the Elohim, the God Israel knew. And under Moses, they died immediately for bringing in some other form of God. Under Yeshua, today that destruction will come on Judgment Day, and it is coming. It is coming. Deuteronomy 18, I'm sorry, Deuteronomy 13, <clears throat> we will get to here, is a very, very powerful chapter. But before we get into the reading of it, the question to all is this. This is what everyone has to ask themselves and deep within their heart. Who is Yahweh, the Elohim of Israel? And the second question is, then, is he your God? Or do you have some other God? What is Yahweh, the Elohim, of Israel going to do to all souls that are not following him but some other three-headed or two-headed or modal God? These are questions you got to ask yourself. Because when we get to reading the scripture, you better get an understanding. Is Yahweh the Elohim and Father of Israel different than the Elohim and Father of Yeshua? And I know I've argued with my family. Can't say argued. Um, it was, was always a one-way conversation for me because they would never answer. They were like stone statues. It's like talking to a brick wall because they will not answer. My question to them is always this. Who is Yahweh? Who is he? And they have no answer. They cannot answer it because as soon as you say, well, he is God. 
he is the God of Israel, your whole trinity by entity, your modalism is shattered to the ground. You have nothing to stand on as soon as you say that. Because Yahweh is the Father. At least in my scriptures that I read, in my Bible that I use for my salvation, and I think it's the same one everyone else uses, right? Is Yeshua not that great prophet that Moses spoke of? Moses said would be raised up after his brothers. We see that here in Deuteronomy 18.5. Yahweh, your Elohim, doesn't say a three-headed God. It doesn't say a two-headed God. It doesn't say a schizophrenic one, oneness God. It says Yahweh, your Elohim, will raise up unto you a prophet from the midst of you of your brethren like unto me now this is Moses saying this and unto him ye shall hearken and now what Yeshua said if you hear me you're hearing the Father hearken unto me listen to what I'm saying and that what Moses said here Deuteronomy 18 18 and I will raise up to them a prophet from among their brethren like unto you and will put my words in his mouth and he will speak unto them all that I shall command him now this is Yahweh saying this to Moses verse 19 and it shall come to pass that whosoever will will not hearken unto my words which he shall speak in my name I will require it of him isn't that what Yeshua said? I speak not of my own. Everything I speak, everything I do, I do of the Father because He has given me this to do. Yahweh is the Elohim. Yahweh is our Father. Yahweh is the one eternal almighty God and there is none beside him. In Acts 3.22 we hear the confirmation of what was said in Deuteronomy 18. In Acts 3.22 For Moses truly said unto the fathers, A prophet shall Yahweh your Elohim. You know, what does it say in, in the translations we have? It says, Lord, your God, or Lord God. Well, you have to realize that they're quoting Deuteronomy. So you can't change the words. And we know that in Deuteronomy, Yahweh was the Elohim. So, exactly what it says. For Moses truly said... Unto the fathers a prophet shall Yahweh your Elohim raise up unto you of your brethren like unto me. Him shall you hear in all things whatsoever he shall say unto you. And then we see in Acts 7.37 a confirmation. This is that which Moses said unto the children of Israel. A prophet shall Elohim your shall Yahweh your Elohim raise up unto you of your brethren like unto me him shall you hear Yeshua was the prophet and he was raised up unto us he was given to us by Yahweh your Elohim John 5:24 Verily verily I say unto you he that hears my words and believes on him that sent me has everlasting life 
Realize everlasting life is believing on Yahweh our Elohim and shall not come into condemnation but is passed from death unto life. Who is it? Those that believe on him that sent Yeshua. Who sent Yeshua? Yahweh. The Elohim, the one and true and only Elohim. John 6.40 And this is the will of Him, Yahweh, that sent me, that everyone that sees the Son and believes on Him may have everlasting life, and I will raise Him up in the last day. Now, Yeshua is speaking the words of who? I will put my words in his mouth. He will speak unto them all that I will command him. My words in his mouth. I will raise them up in the last day. Who's doing the raising up? Yahweh's raising us up in the last day. Now Yeshua may be the agent. Yahweh is the power. John 17.3 And this is life eternal. Or this is eternal life. However you want to do that. Here's what life eternal is. That they may know you, the only true Elohim and Yeshua the anointed whom you have sent. It does not get any clearer than this. It does not. We have to know the only true Elohim who is that that is Yahweh. Yahweh, the Elohim and Father of Israel, our yellow Elohim and Father, Yeshua's Elohim and Father. Now, if Yeshua preached another Elohim besides Yahweh, now get this, understand what we have just read. If Yeshua preached another Elohim beside Yahweh, then the Jews would have had a good reason to kill him, for he would have been in transgression. And as we read Deuteronomy 13, we're going to see all this come fall into place. For he would have been in transgression. He would have been in sin. But since we know that Yeshua was without transgression or sin, then we know for a fact, an immutable, undeniable, absolute truth fact that he only taught of the one true Elohim, Yahweh. He never taught anything other than that. And be not deceived. Yahweh is, is, is going to destroy all those believing in a trinity, a biennity, or a oneness, modalist God. They will be thrown into the lake of fire. If this is your belief, you will die the second death. Period. Because you have a different God than the God of Israel. Deuteronomy 13, starting in verse 1, we're going to read the whole chapter. If there arise among you a prophet, Yeshua was the prophet, or a dreamer of dreams, and gives you a sign or a wonder, and the sign or the wonder come to pass, 
However, if he speaks unto you, saying, Let us go after other gods which you have not known, and let us serve them, you shall not hearken unto the words of that prophet. Even if he does a miracle, you don't hearken unto the words of that prophet or that dreamer of dreams. For Yahweh, your Elohim, is proving you, is proving you to know whether you love Yahweh, your Elohim, with all your soul, your heart, and mind. You shall walk after Yahweh, your Elohim, and fear him, and keep his commandments, and obey his voice. And you shall serve him, and cleave unto him. And that prophet, or that dreamer of dreams, shall be put to death. So see, if Yeshua preached anything other than Yahweh, our Elohim, if he preached anything other than this, then he should have been put to death. And he would have been in transgression. And you know, he should have been destroyed. Because he has spoken to turn you away from Yahweh your Elohim. Which brought you out of the land of Egypt. And redeemed you out of the house of bondage. To thrust you out of the way which Yahweh your Elohim commanded you to walk in. So shall you put the evil away from the midst of you. Now Yeshua said if you don't hate your father, mother, brother, son, daughter and come and follow me you have nothing in me, right? Well, in Deuteronomy we get the same thing here, Deuteronomy 13.6 If your brother, the son of your mother or your son or your daughter or the wife of your bosom or your friend which is as your own soul entice you secretly saying let us go and serve other gods which you have not known you nor your fathers namely the gods of the people which are around you nigh unto you or far from you from one end of the earth even unto the other end of the earth you shall not consent unto him nor hearken unto him now this is a real key and you and neither shall your eye pity him neither shall you spare and neither shall you conceal him even if it's your sons your daughters your wife your best friends even if it's your brother you don't pity people that say that and do that and you don't spare you speak out but you shall surely kill him and your hand shall be the first upon him to put him to death in other words the ones the one who is the uh, the brother the father the husband the best friend is the one that has to do the first stone to be putting to death and afterwards the hand of all the people this is serious business, folks. Serious business. Yeah, we're not doing this today. But you know, in the end, when Yeshua comes back in the day of judgment, everyone, everyone that has an Elohim that is not Yahweh is going to be put into the lake of fire. You, you you don't have it it's gone for you you shall stone him with stones and he shall die because he has sought to thrust you away from Yahweh your Elohim which brought you out of the land of Egypt out of the house of bondage and all Israel shall hear and fear and shall do no more any such wickedness as this is among you and if you shall hear say in one of your cities which Yahweh your Elohim has given you to dwell there saying certain men of the children of Belir are gone out from among you and have withdrawn the inhabitants of their city saying let us go and serve other gods which you have not known 
Then shall you inquire and make search and ask diligently and behold if it be true in the thing certain that such abomination is wrought among you you shall surely smite the inhabitants of the city with the sword destroy it utterly in all that is therein the cattle therein with the edge of the sword and you shall gather all the spoil into the midst of the street thereof and shall burn the city with fire and all the spoil therein every wit for Yahweh your Elohim for Yahweh your Elohim and it shall be a heap forever it shall not be built again and there shall cleave naught of the cursed thing in your hand that Yahweh may turn from the fierceness of his anger and show you mercy and have compassion upon you and multiply you as he has sworn unto your fathers when ye you shall hearken unto the voice of Yahweh your Elohim to keep all his commandments which I command you this day and do that which is in right in the eyes of Yahweh your Elohim he is very 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 serious and this some modeling around with these three-headed gods and two-headed gods and oneness of gods is a really really an abomination it's horrific in the eyes of Yahweh and if you I'm going to read some more here proving we're proving Yahweh is the Elohim that's all this does I mean you can believe it or not believe it right Exodus 3.14 and Yahweh said unto Moses I exist that I exist and he said shall, thus shall you say unto the children of Israel I exist has sent you and the Elohim said moreover unto Moses thus shall you say to the children of Israel Yahweh Elohim of your fathers, the Elohim of Abraham, the Elohim of Isaac, the Elohim of Jacob, has sent me unto you, and this is my name forever, and this is my memorial unto all generations. His name is not Lord. His name is not God. Get that? Our Elohim's name is Yahweh, and he wants to be our father. And you can say Yahweh, Yahuwah. I say Yahweh. It's, that's how I know it. We're not here to argue the pronunciation of the name. And if you start arguing the pronunciation, pronunciation of the name, you have just missed the mark. In Exodus 20, verse 1, 20, starting in at verse 1, and Elohim spoke all these words, saying, I am Yahweh your Elohim, which have brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. You shall have no other gods before me. Yeshua did not reveal another God. He did not reveal, oh God, I am God too. Uh, the Holy Spirit is a God too. He didn't reveal that. Yeshua taught the Yahweh your Elohim. Leviticus 19.3 You shall fear every man his mother and his father and keep my Sabbaths. I am Yahweh your Elohim. Deuteronomy 1 8. Behold, I set the land before you, go in and possess the land which Yahweh swore unto your fathers Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yahweh was the was the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. If you want to worship the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, you have to worship Yahweh the one and only Elohim. Deuteronomy 121 Behold, Yahweh your Elohim 
has set the land before you. Go up and possess it, as Yahweh the Elohim of your fathers has said unto you. And fear not, neither be discouraged. Yahweh has set before all mankind a promised land, a new Jerusalem, a new heaven, and a new earth. He has promised it to Abraham and to his seed, Yeshua. But I'm saying to you, no one, no one serving any other Elohim or God besides Yahweh, the Elohim of Israel, will ever get to enter in and possess it. It is not going to happen because you do not have Yahweh the Elohim of Israel if you have some other form of a God. The promised land is before us. He's promised it to us. 1 Samuel 2.30 Therefore, Yahweh the Elohim of Israel says, I indeed, I said indeed that your house and the house of your father should walk before me forever. Now that's what he had said, but here's what he says then. He says, but now, but now Yahweh says, be it far from me. First Samuel 2.30 Wherefore Yahweh the Elohim of Israel says I said indeed that your house and the house of your father should walk before me forever but now get this but now now Yahweh says be it far from me for them that honor me I will honor and they that despise me shall be lightly esteemed See, the promise gets taken away. It only goes to those who honor him, who honor Yahweh. So the question is, do you despise the name of Yahweh? Do you honor Yahweh as the Elohim, the Elohim of Israel, the Elohim of Yeshua? Is he your Elohim? Proverbs 3.12 For whom Yahweh loves, he corrects even as a father, the son in whom he delights. In Isaiah 63:16. Doubtless you are our father, though Abraham be ignorant of us, and Israel acknowledge us not. You, Yahweh, are our father, our redeemer, and your name is from everlasting. Now this is the children of Israel was, were speaking or Isaiah was speaking for them and they were they were alive but Abraham never knew these people he never met them Israel Jacob never acknowledged them never knew them and that but they knew that Yahweh did and Yahweh was to be their father they looked upon him as their father just like Yeshua's father just like our father Yahweh is our father Isaiah 64 8 but now Yahweh you are our father we are the clay you are our potter we are all the work of your hand Yeshua is not the potter. Yeshua is not the maker. Malachi 1.6 A son honors his father and a servant his master. If then I be a father, where is my honor? And I be a master, where is my fear? says Yahweh of hosts unto you, O priests, that despise my name. And you say, wherein have we despised your name?
Jeremiah 32:14. Thus says Yahweh of hosts, the Elohim of Israel, take these evidences, this evidence of the purchase, both which is sealed and this evidence which is open, and put them in an earthen vessel, that they may continue many days. For thus says Yahweh of hosts, the Elohim of Israel, houses and fields and vineyards shall be possessed again in this land. Now when I had delivered the evidence of the purchase unto Baruch the son of Neriah, I prayed unto Yahweh, saying, O Adonai Yahweh, behold, you have made the heaven and earth, and by your great power and stretched out arm there is nothing too hard for you. You show loving kindness unto the thousands, and recompense the iniquity of the fathers into the bosom of their children after them. The great, the mighty Elohim, Yahweh of hosts is his name, great in counsel, mighty in works. For your eyes are open upon all the ways of the sons of men, to give everyone according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doings, which have set signs and wonders in the land of Egypt, even this day, and in Israel, and among other men, and have made you a name as at this day. Thus says Yahweh, the Elohim of Israel, I made a covenant with your fathers in the day that I brought them out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. The Elohim of Jeremiah was none other than Yahweh, the great and mighty Elohim, the Elohim of Israel, the Elohim of the hosts. Jeremiah knew no other Elohim or God. Knew none other. So if you're thinking that this God that Israel had was a three-headed God, you are very, very, very mistaken. The Elohim of Israel, Yahweh, He is the one. Okay? He is the one that made the heavens, has the power of the outstretched harm. He is the one that's that's uh, mighty works, great to forgive. Yeshua can't do any of that. Yeshua never did any of that. And Yeshua is never going to do any of that. It is all from Yahweh. Yahweh is the one that does it. And remember, that's what Yeshua said. Everything that I do is from Yahweh. He gives me the power. He gave me the authority to do it. I do it because I am here representing him. And that's why you need to get this really straight before you get cast into the lake of fire. Before you, before you hit the grave, you better correct this in your life if you do not have the Yahweh of Israel as your Elohim or your God. In Acts 5.30, the Elohim, Yahweh of our fathers, raised up Yeshua, whom you slew and hanged on a tree. See, every time you read this in the New Testament, when you read the God of our fathers, you've got to put Yahweh in there. If you put the God of our fathers in there and it is not Yahweh, then yeah, you are in infraction. You, you don't, you, you do not have the knowledge. You do not have understanding. And that is why you'll be thrown into the lake of fire. My people perish for lack of knowledge. Why? Because they did not believe. The knowledge was in believing that Yahweh was the Elohim. 
And so that's why in the very beginning, the question still stands. Who is Yahweh, the God of Israel? Yahweh is the Father. Yahweh was Yeshua's Father. Yahweh was the Elohim. So who is Yahweh, the God of Israel, to you? Is he your God? Or do you have some other God that Israel never knew? It's interesting because I know that that uh, that you as you read what these people with the doctrine of the Trinity do say, they say, "Well, well, Israel never knew the Triune God." Yeah, that's exactly right. And so those very statements will get you thrown into the lake of fire because you have just committed what was done in Deuteronomy 13. Acts 22:13, And he came unto me and stood and said unto me, Brother Saul, receive your sight. In the same hour I looked upon him. And he said, The Elohim, which is Yahweh, of our fathers, has chosen you that you should know his will and see the righteous one and should hear the voice of his mouth it was the Elohim the God of Israel that raised up Yeshua from the dead and that one raised from the dead was seen by Paul and actually if you read it was a bright light I don't it doesn't really say Paul actually saw his person but it was a bright light anyhow and identified to Paul as the righteous one or Yeshua Yeshua was not identified as Elohim or God Yahweh or even an Elohim or a Elohim but as the righteous one and notice what it says here the Elohim the God of our fathers has chosen you it doesn't say Yeshua has chosen you it says the God of our fathers and we've just shown you in scripture that the God of our fathers is Yahweh and that you should know his the God of our fathers will and see the righteous one and should hear the voice of his mouth he gave Paul the privilege of seeing the brightness of Yeshua and hearing the voice of Yeshua's mouth he became a true apostle. So this is the end of this short study. And I just pray that you would rethink your theology if you have any other God than the God of Israel. And so I'm going to leave it with this. I'm going to leave it with this question. Who is Yahweh, the Elohim, or the God of Israel? And maybe the biggest question really is, is he your God? Is Yahweh the God of Israel, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God and Father of Yeshua, the Anointed One, the Great Prophet. Is he your God? Or do you have some other God that they never knew?
and we'll leave it at that. And may Yahweh forever bless his word. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah.